Today we're making a super easy English muffin recipe. Let's get straight to it. Add some warm water and your sugar to the bowl of a stand mixer. A regular bowl will do just fine. You can mix this by hand if you need to. Whoops, looks like I forgot some sugar. Give the water a quick stir to dissolve some of that sugar, then sprinkle in your yeast. Give everything a quick stir, then let that yeast bloom for about five minutes. Next, add some kosher salt, your buttermilk, and one egg white. Finally, add your flour to the mixing bowl, then attach the bowl with the dough hook to your mixer and set it on low speed. To knead dough on my KitchenAid mixer, my go-to speed is number two. You're gonna knead that mixture for about five minutes until you get a smooth but wet homogenous dough. Clean any dough that's stuck to the dough hook and then put that aside. Then generously flour your work surface because this dough is wet and you're gonna need plenty of flour down so that you can handle the dough easily. Now turn your dough out onto that floured work surface. You can see how wet the dough is. It's, it's very tacky, so, so be diligent here. And uh, yeah, just, yeah, just do your best. <laughs> now in an attempt to uh, not touch the dough too much with my hands, I'm using a dough scraper here. Probably a good thing to pick up if you can. But uh, work the dough around, let it pick up some of the flour from the countertop. That'll make it easier to handle. Um, continue kneading for about a minute or so, and then start working it in a circular motion to form the dough ball. Place the dough in a lightly greased bowl and cover it with plastic wrap or a wet towel. Let it rest for an hour until doubled in size. Okay, on to the next step. Carefully turn your risen and still very wet dough out onto a well-floured work surface. Dust the top of your dough with a little bit of flour just to make it easier to work with. Then divide it into eight equal pieces. Ideally, they should be about 80 grams a piece, but that, that really depends on the total weight of your dough. Now you've probably seen this technique from my bombolini, I mean, sorry, bomboloni video. Essentially what you do is you roll the ball around in the palm of your hand, and using the friction of the countertop and the wet dough to form the dough ball. In this case, flour is not your best friend here, so you may need to wipe off part of your counter to make this work. I should have said this earlier, but place those dough balls on a parchment lined sheet pan dusted with some cornmeal, then coat the tops of each one with some additional cornmeal. Cover the dough and let it rest for an hour or until doubled in size. Then fire up your griddle or cast iron pan over medium heat. Carefully place one or two of your dough balls onto the cast iron. Now, I use this cute little flip technique, but you can probably just slide the dough right off the spatula. Probably the easiest thing to do. But anyways, cook the muffin on one side for four or five minutes until lightly browned, and then flip it and repeat the process. Now the internal target temp for the muffins are about 205 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. If your muffins are browning too fast, but they're not fully cooked in the center, then you're gonna need to lower the temp of your pan a bit. Place the finished muffins on a wired baking rack to cool just a bit. Now, the best practice for opening one up is to score the outside with a fork and then pull them apart with your hands. That's how you get all those awesome nooks and crannies. Now, there are plenty of ways to enjoy an English muffin, the simplest of which is lightly toasted with some really good butter and some homemade jam or preserves. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I'm enjoying this English muffin right now. Hit the like button if you so desire. Subscribe too if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, guys.